advances from investments in science are breathtaking. We have far greater ability to mend minds, heal hearts, and cure cancers, but it could be so much better. I call it the trillion dollar problem. You see, if we just applied what we know works, right now we could save countless deaths, so much suffering, and over a trillion dollars. Let me give you some examples. We know in helping people stay well, that is getting preventive services and cancer screenings, we're far from 100%, meaning people have cancers that could be prevented. In helping people get well, let's take diabetes. We know that only 40% of people are diagnosed. It's the same for heart disease. About half the people are on the right medicine. About 11% have their blood pressure, their glucose, and their cholesterol controlled, and over 80% have avoidable hospitalizations or ED visits. Or let's get in helping people get better. That is, if I have a chronic disease, is care coordinating with my primary care? It's probably about 10% is. Is what I'm getting recommended appropriate? About a third of almost any procedure aren't appropriate if you use rigorous scientific criteria. About a third of people are cared for in a setting that could be less costly and equally high quality. That is home rather than a skilled nursing facility or home or a primary care office rather than an emergency department. You add all that up, it's a trillion dollar problem. And we could solve it today if we made some investments. A trillion dollar savings. How? By investing in implementation science or improvement science or what we call the science of healthcare delivery. Healthcare delivery isn't an art. It's a science that draws upon economics, sociology, anthropology, informatics, epidemiology, biostatistics, clinical medicine, and wraps them all together to align many levers to move the needle in a big way. The agency that leads in this is the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality that's preciously underfunded. So if we wanted to, we could eliminate what might be the third leading cause of death right now, a trillion dollars of avoidable healthcare spend by simply applying what works.